we're asked to determine the greatest common factor of the two monomials. The greatest common factor of two monomials is the monomial with the coefficient that is the greatest whole number that divides the coefficients and with the greatest number of common variable factors. So to help us determine the greatest common factor of these monomials, let's begin by determining the prime factorization of the coefficients. We'll determine the prime factorization of 88 and the prime factorization of 24. For 88, we'd have eight times 11, 11 is prime, eight is equal to four times two, two is prime, and four equals two times two. For 24, let's begin with three times eight, three is prime, eight equals four times two, two is prime, and four is equal to two times two. Now if we look at the variable factors of these two monomials, notice how this first term has 18 factors of r, and the second term has 13 factors of r, and therefore they have 13 factors of r in common. So to help us determine the greatest common factor of these two monomials, let's write 88 r to the 18th as the prime factorization of 88 is two times two times two times 11. And let's write r to the 18th as r to the 13th times r to the fifth, because we already noticed these two monomials have 13 factors of r in common. And notice how r to the 13th times r to the fifth is still r to the 18th. Now let's write 24 r to the 13th as prime factorization of 24 is two times two times two times three. And we have 13 factors of r, so we have times r to the 13th. In this form, we can easily determine prime factors these two monomials have in common, as well as the factors of r they have in common. Notice how both terms contain three factors of two and 13 factors of r. The product of these common prime factors and variable factors give us the greatest common factor. So the greatest common factor is equal to two times two times two times r to the 13th, which equals eight r to the 13th. I hope you found this helpful.